Hello everybody, this is Panda Hero here, and welcome to the first video on my new tutorial series on the Blender game engine. Now, if you don't know what Blender is, it is a free open source 3D animating program. Uh, you can download it at blender.org. I will leave a link to that in the description. Let's close this because we don't need this open. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to open Blender. Uh, it will look like this, so just click anywhere to get that away. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to go up here where it says Blender Render, click on that, and switch this to Blender Game. Now what we'll, that will do is it will sh switch it to the uh, game engine that's built into Blender. Next what you want to do is you want to go up here to that window icon and select Game Logic. Now this is where uh, we'll be doing most of uh, the game, uh, like most of making the game. So um, yeah, next what you want to do is you want to press 0 on the number pad to get into um, the camera view. Then what you want to do is you want to go up here to add sensor, click on that, and click on keyboard. Now next what you want to do is you want to click on this little thing here. It will say press key, let's do W, because that's like most PC games, you can click any one, deserves, I mean, it depends on how you like it. Um, so then you want to go up to here to add actuator, go here to um, motion, and you'll see we get all these things. Now, we're going to make the cube go forward when we press W. So what we want to do is we want to go up to this first one, and we're going to press uh, this little arrow here that will set that to 10. Now that's just going to make it go uh, just at a normal speed. You can make that higher if you want to go make it go really fast or something. Um, but yeah, so then let's just click on this, hold uh, your mouse down, and then just drag it over to that. Uh, now, uh, let's just collapse these because we don't need it. Um, then what you want to do is you want to press P, which will make it into play mode so we can play the game. And you want to press W, and as you can see, it goes. Then just press uh, escape uh, to exit out of that. Now, what if we want to make it move backwards? Well, that's simple. We just do the same thing as before. Click keyboard. We'll press S this time so we can go backwards. Then you want to go to motion, and you want to click on this arrow. That will make it minus 10, so it will go backwards. Same thing, just link it up. Collapse these, because we don't really need these open. Um, then just if we press play, we can move forward and backward. Uh, so uh, just press escape again to get out of that. Um, then, uh, as you can see, we have forward and backward. We can name these. I'll just name this one move zero. So that's our first move. Then move one. Okay, so just label those quick. Then what you want to do is we want to make it go left and right. So first what we want to do is we want to do the same thing again. Keyboard. We're going to do press A. This time, make it go left, add actuator, motion, go to here, and make this minus 10. So then what you want to do is link these up, collapse these, and then what we'll have is our cube is going left. So then we're going to do make it going right again, keyboard, press D, and motion, we're going to make this 10, link those up again, and as you can see now, we have our cube going forward, backwards, uh, right, and left, so it's all working fine, we can move them around, yay, uh, but what if we're going to have them jump, well that's simple, again, we just press uh, keyboard, this time we'll do spacebar, uh, then select motion, and we'll want to make this 10 over there. Face up, go 
close that down. And press play. Uh, now if we press spacebar, he goes up. But he doesn't come down. That's why we gotta add physics to him. So, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna go up here. And you'll see uh, this is called physics. So, that's where you wanna go. Uh, then, just switch this to character. Now, when we press play, he'll just fall. Now, that's because we don't have anything under him to, uh, like, sort of keep him from falling. So, let's just press Shift A, plane. Let's put that about there. Scale that up by a bit. And now, if we press play, we'll see that. He's moving around, and we can make him jump. Oh wait, we're having a problem here. And that's because we didn't actually switch this to a higher number. When you add uh, physics to your uh, guy, you gotta um, add probably a little more to him. Let's set that at 20. I don't know why that is, but um, you just have to. But basically, now if we press it, he'll be jumping. But you'll notice when we let go of it, that he goes straight down, just come, like, yeah. Doesn't really look that great. So let's just escape, and let's sit, switch this, instead of simple motion, to character motion. And just turn on jump, and what we'll do now is we'll make him jump. And if we just tap on the spacebar, He'll go through the jumping thing once, so you can make him move around, make him jump. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, fun to play around with this. Um, but that's basically the basics of the Blender game engine. Uh, in our next tutorial, I will be showing you how to add character animations uh, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, hope you learned something in this tutorial, and I will see you next time. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye.